Okay, so this is the second part of the tutorial on graphs. We've just made this graph of height versus, uh, oh, sorry, of forearm length versus uh, height. Oh, I should change that. That should be height, actually, not length. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and we want to do, I want to do another graph. So uh, I'm going to put that one aside. We'll deal with it later. Um, here's a small experiment. It's a hypothetical experiment where we've uh, fed mice on a diet low in, in calories, average and then high in calories and we've weighed them after four weeks we had nine mice one two three four five six seven eight nine in each one of our three groups and here's our weight here are our weight so if you remember from the earlier tutorial first thing we do is we're going to uh, uh, colorize it we're going to look at color scales to pick up any outliers and there doesn't seem to be any outliers there's there's a very there's an even spread of colors throughout but clearly, we can see there's a lot more green on the left and a lot more red on the uh, right. So these numbers are much higher. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to do some quick descriptive stats. So average and say the standard deviation maybe. Standard dev equals to average of these numbers equals to standard dev of my nine numbers. There we are. And I'm going to drag it across. There we go. So here are my averages and standard deviation. So there's a fair amount of deviation between uh, individuals, but clearly uh, there's an increase in weight uh, between the low and medium and the high. So when I go back to my graph, what, what would I like to show? Well, I've got three groups. I actually want to compare my three groups, right? So I want to do a comparison. There's no issue of time. So this is among items. I want to compare among my three items. I've got one variable per item. I've got the weight, and that's it. There are few categories. There's only three treatment groups, and there are few items. There's, there's, there's just, you know, just, just those three treatment groups. So, um, so the best graph then is a column chart. So I'm coming back here, and insert. A column chart is up here. So I want a column chart. Uh, there's, it is in blank. Again, I go select my data, add. Uh, my series is going to be weight, and my values are here. So this is the low, medium, and high value. Okay, and then I can also grab my um, grouping. See, at the moment it, it has figured the first group is group one, group two, group three, and it's given my numbers down here. I can edit those and automatically feed them as well from Excel. So I will click on Edit and tell it to look for the axis labels here, one, two, three. Okay, and now it knows that this is low, medium, and high. Done, so here's my um, um, bar chart. Again, I do need to add uh, the axis titles. So in this axis will be uh, a, a, a calorie diet, uh, calories, calories in the diet low, medium, and high, and the other axis, the part vertical axis, is weight in grams. Remember, I don't need the title at the top. I'm going to get rid of that. There. Perfect. So there's my bar chart, and it's very clear that with a high calorie in the diet, I've got much fatter mice than with a low calorie in the diet. This isn't particularly pretty. Again, there's a lot of white space, uh, and so you can uh, play around with click on things and play around with the settings. But in this case, I might want to decrease the gap between my bars. That looks a little nicer. I might also want to add the standard deviation. I've calculated. Very easy to add. Click on the bars. Go to add chart element, error bars, uh, more options. Click there. And then uh, you come down here to grab them. So click on custom specify value. Positive error bars are here, one, two, three, and the negative is the same error bar down here, one, two, three. Okay, and here it is with error bars. Okay, so that's how you do the charts. Now, I wanted to show you how to import them into Word. So again, left click, I'm, I'm going to use this chart, left click uh, to select it, right click to copy, go into Word, that's the table from the earlier example. Uh, and then if you just click paste, um, oftentimes it'll paste it fine. There's a risk every now and again that it'll change the colors of your graph. Uh, if it does that, you have the option to paste it as, uh, as a picture. And there it won't change any of your formatting. But if you're happy pasting it with um, as it is, 
uh, then, then that's fine. And in this case, that's fine. That looks fine. So here's my chart. I need to add the title, right? So right click, click on it, right click, insert caption. This is not a table. This is now a figure. Uh, figure one, um, um, a forearm length versus height of students. Okay. And the good thing is it actually knows in Word to put the figure title underneath the figure. So that's great. Um, it's a little ugly in that I really don't like the edge that it has around it. And you can crop that off. So if you left click on it and go here, I think to format. Is it format or design? Mm. I don't find it. I don't remember where it is. Darn it. Oh, I do remember where it is. Um, and where is it? It's in there somewhere. And I actually want to remove the edge outline. Shape outline. I want no outline. And there it is. It's remove the outline. Now, that looks much more like the kind of graph you would find in a scientific publication. OK, so that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, so we've looked at how to choose a graph. And that was using this matrix here. We've looked at how to insert it in Excel. We've looked at how to polish it off, and that was mostly uh, 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 getting rid of the blank space, making sure you have your titles on both axes, and removing the automatic title that's added in Excel. And we've looked at how to paste it into Word, and then insert a title into Word underneath. And remember, table title top, and figures is the opposite. So in this case here, uh, that's how my titles go.